I bought another water gun. Check this out. Look at it. It's basically a spaceship all by itself. All we have to do is get rid of this water container. I'm gonna keep this one. And a little handle. Welcome to the workshop, you magnificent bastards. Crafters. I need a spaceship for an upcoming Planet 28 game, so I went for something fast and easy. First thing that we need to do, prevent this from moving with a hot glue. I have to make some thruster, and I have to fill up a bunch of holes here and there, here and there. Ah! Hot glue to fill up most of the holes and then I'm gonna use some green stuff to finish it off. Everything is filled up, time for a good sanding with some fine grit sandpaper. This makes it easier to glue the stuff to the plastic and helps with the paint adhesion. I've added some 40k bits here and there for some variation. Without tying it to any faction, super glue works great, especially because we roughed up the plastic. Some more detailing, this time with some strips of plastic card. Done! Plenty of opportunity to add more detailing, but I'm keeping it fast and simple. For the thrusters, I'm mainly going to use trash, bottle caps, a coffee cup from Nescafe, not sponsored. These are ripped for my pleasure an ice cream cup styrene from which I'm going to cut some strips. The base for the thruster is a piece of 5mm foam board. Time to slap on some paint, shall we? Black spray primer over both pieces and with a good couple of coats of light gray over the main spaceship. I'm going for a white and red paint scheme, starting off with a dry brush of white over the entire ship. The red is Vico Cavalry Brown, my favorite red. It's deep, it covers great, and it sounds like something you would find in a stable. I do all the fine line work first, and then I fill in the rest with a big brush. The thruster gets a simple base coat of lead belcher. Time for some weathering. I'm using a small sponge with a sharp edge. I rip out some small pieces to make it uneven. 
Charcoal is my color of preference. It's less in your face than black and it works great with the white. I apply this technique over the entire ship on basically all the sharp edges, adding variation with the amount of pressure and the stippling pattern. After stippling it's time for washes, dark green on all the red parts on the entire ship and then I'm also going to use some dark grey wash over the white parts of the ship. For a tad more variation I'm going to use lead belcher on some of the details and the thruster is going to get a couple of layers sepia and brown wash. Now that I have applied decals on two projects, I am almost an expert. Two things I've learned. One, make everything wet. The place for the decal, where it's supposed to go, the decal itself. For a problem-free placement, simply remove excess water. Just like that. Simple, huh? I've added a bunch. Number two, this stuff. Used to fix and make a decal blend with the background. This has to be applied after a varnish. If not, this product eats into the decal. That's great. Instant weathering. A big shout out to Son of Tark, Joel Mullins, John Hanlon, Lisa and Eric Lamoureux, my newest Patreons if you want to support, links below. And that's it for this project, thank you all very much for watching. I'm pretty happy with my spaceship, you can use this for a whole bunch of sci-fi games. Next update soon here on Dark Matter Workshop, in fact next week, stay tuned, bye.